in every slicer, there are two types of support options, normal supports and tree supports. But how do you know which one to use and which is relevant to your 3D print? Now, normal supports are great for overhangs, areas where bridging is needed or parts of your model that are suspended in midair. Realistically, normal supports is gonna be the most common option for nearly every single 3D print. I would recommend normal supports, especially if you're printing bridges or parts of pieces that have 90 degree overhangs. And you also wanna make sure you limit the amount of support you use by switching over to manual and then painting the regions that will need support. The main reason for this is because by simply using auto, your slicer is just gonna place more supports than necessary. And for the most part, that's gonna make the post-processing part much more difficult to remove. But if you have less supports that actually supports the regions that need it the most, it's gonna be way easier to remove. As an example, here is this hex shell where normal support would add too much filament, making material harder to remove, especially during post-processing. Now, when should you use tree supports? Well, I would recommend using tree supports when you're printing structures or parts of pieces like cosplay props or parts and pieces that have more organic structures, meaning that it's not completely flat or at a 90 degree angle. The main reason why is because tree supports allow you to target specific regions that actually support those small parts or pieces. Keep in mind the ideal situation is not using supports at all, because even if you do use supports, it's going to leave marks and pieces all around the area where you do 3D print. At the end of the day, you also want to make sure to check out the orientation and make sure to use less supports than necessary because for the most part, less is more.